Happy New Year, Taurus, and welcome to the Angel Cooperative channel. My name is Liza Mariani, and I'm here to do your monthly tarot horoscope for January of 2020. Let's just quickly shuffle up your cards. Um, also, wanted to say I'm so excited for this new decade to begin. Um, you know, January is going to be hopefully, um, and also the whole year of 2020 will be a good year for you, and this will be a good month for Taurus. Um, especially as we start out this new decade. Let's see what cards we have for Taurus for the month of January. Um, all Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Um, also check out the other signs in your chart. Um, those videos may also resonate with you. First card we have is the Five of Swords reversed, the Seven of Cups reversed, the Queen of Swords reversed, and the Two of Swords. And your overall energy for the month of January is the Seven of Wands. Taurus. Let's see what other cards we have. Some clarifications on the cards for January with using the Lenormand deck. Um, this is the old style Lenormand. And we have the Stork, the Snake, the Letter, and the Cross. And your overall energy for this month is the ship. All right, so let me also pull a crystal. See what um, energy Taurus needs to focus on and feeling energy. Let's see what we got. Ooh, Taurus, we have pyrite. I love pyrite, one of my favorite stones. Also, I'm gonna pull a few runes for you guys. from the book for you guys real quick so that way um here it is okay so pyrite is all about um it's about cleansing and um also eases anxiety depression and frustration um it strengthens your logical thinking and creates a grounded sense of reality um protects you from negative energy as well um it's a great it's a great stone to have especially um especially if you want to like connect with your you know the things that you want to bring into your life and really manifesting i love the um the sheen of pyrite it's also called fool's gold um <laughs> it's known as um it's also known as a cleansing stone so this is also really good with cleansing your aura um, and really, you know, trying to keep yourself, um, like let yourself glow and let yourself shine. I feel like, especially with this, the energy of the pyrite. So definitely get some Taurus this month. If you want to, you know, keep that, um, connected with you, especially when you're trying to, um, to ease, um, some anxiety and frustration that you may be dealing with this month. All right, so let's see what um, the cards we have for you guys. We have the Seven of Wands, and that's paired with the ship. And I do feel like there is this sense of you kind of standing up for yourself in a way that you're standing your ground um, and trying to be um, in a positive way. I don't feel like this is negative in any way, but I do feel like this month, you know, you're kind of you know, standing up for yourself and also, you know, not afraid to let yourself shine a little bit. Um, you know, we do have the ship here. So this is also about um, maybe traveling. It could even be, um, 
where you may be focused on like, you know, where you're going to be going, like the things that you're trying to get to, like your goals and like going after them, like taking um, a journey, taking a voyage. This is like all like a part of your passage in life. Um, it's, it's like the next passage that you're needing to take. And of course, coming in with this new decade, I do feel like this year feels magical for some of you, Taurus. It feels like this is like a new beginning for you where you're actually able to start some new things. But I feel like it's more where you're you're doing it from a place of strength um, and also where you're looking to stand up for yourself more and not be so shy to, um, you know, opinions of others. Um, and, and I feel like it's more about like letting yourself be who you are. So I do love that energy, especially for you guys for this month. And even as we start out this new year, because, um, I do feel like you have been holding yourself back and now you're saying, okay, enough is enough. I'm not putting myself second anymore. I'm going to put myself first and I'm going to go after the things that I want. So I do feel very positive with that. Um, it's interesting because we do have some um, reversed cards here, but I feel like the reversed cards here are more about um, having these um, situations end for you or actually you like canceling them out in a way. We have the five of swords reversed and that's also paired with the stork. The five of swords is also about conflict, but I feel like when it's reversed, it's like you're, you're not willing to, um, create conflict or create drama to happen. I feel like it's, you know, it could even be where, um, conflicts or drama from the past. You're not going to allow them to, or you're not going to give any energy to them. It's like, you're not even going to allow these things to continue. It's like you want Want to start a new phase in your life um, where you're bringing in positive um, connections, positive energy. Um, the, the stork is here as well. So I do feel like this is also, you know, some good news coming in um, very positive um, where the stork could also connect with um, pregnancy or news of pregnancy um, that could be coming in for some of you. Um, but I do feel like with the stork, it's also, it's also about just bringing in like good energy and good news and like, you know, having something to celebrate for. So instead of like feeding into negative energies and people who have, um, you know, they're spreading rumors or they're, you know, people who are always connected in that energy and you feel like they're always like that and you trying to distance yourself from that a little bit. I do feel like it's more about bringing in positive communication instead of negative communication. And that's kind of how these cancel each other out. And that's why I felt like you're canceling out a lot of the things or situations or people that you're dealing with that are, um, bringing in this negativity. It's like this constant negativity. And you're saying, no, I'm going to cancel that out and I'm going to make it positive. I'm not allowing this to knock me down or I'm not allowing myself to get sucked into it. It's not that, you know, it's because usually it's not even about you. It's about like other people that you get sucked into these like stupid drama um, created situations where you're just like, okay, you know what? I, I just don't even want to, I don't even care. Like, I just need to like disconnect myself from this because this is not serving me in any which way. If anything, it's just bringing more negativity into my life. And all I want to bring into this year and in this month is positivity. So I do feel like that is kind of like where you're feeling and how you're looking at it, which is, you know, it's also this whole energy of, you know, the seven of wands. It's like, you're not allowing it to continue. You're like, no, I'm not even going to feed into this nonsense because I'm going to bring in positive energy. I'm going to talk to people who um, are not going to be gossiping. I want people around me who are the same mindset that I am, where I want to think about positive situations. I don't want to bring in negative and I don't want to feed into drama as well. Um, we also have the seven of cups reversed and um, the snake. So I do feel like there are some snakes around you. And I feel like this is the things that you're trying to avoid. And especially when the seven of cups is reversed, it's like you're not willing to make choices or make decisions based on what these snakes are telling you or what these snakes are guiding you to make. And the snake is, you know, somebody who's sneaky and knows how to get away. Or maybe it's just like they know how to manipulate you. Um, and it's all about, you know, connections they have. We have the partnership room here. So this is all about connections that you have. It could be people that are connected to you in your daily life, but I do feel like it's like connections that you're trying to, um, 
a void. I don't know why. It's like some connections of people that you're trying to avoid because they bring in that negative like drama, rumor, energy in. And like you're trying to disconnect from it because you know that it's not, they're not good options. So it's, it's interesting because I do feel like it's like you're trying to negate it again. Um, you're trying to negate this like this net. It's almost like a negative force where you're not allowing them to um, pull you in. It's like you used to be easily dragged into it. But this time around, it's like you're seeing things really differently. And, and I do feel like um, Taurus that you're finally like kind of like you get it in a way. It's like you're saying, OK, but you know, yeah, you have this or you have that situation going on and I feel bad for you. Yeah, I totally understand. But you know what? Don't immerse me into this and don't like, you know, get me all involved in this. This is not my um, my battle to be won and I don't want to connect my energy any more than I need to get sucked into it because it sucks you dry and then you just feel like there is nothing left of you to give because you're putting so much energy into something that is kind of like nonsense to you and you're finally seeing that um and it's interesting because we also have the queen of swords reversed here and that's together with the letter so there is going to be some communication with somebody who is this queen of swords reversed energy which is kind of like oh it's somebody that is the Queen of Swords reversed is always, to me, I always feel like it's like the ultimate bitch. Like this person is um, maybe mean-spirited, but could be verbally abusive. This person could also be like um, a manipulative, especially with the way that they speak. They're trying to um, get everybody to side with them. Um, they want everybody to see their, their the way that they're seeing it. Um, and they're, I just don't like the way that this person operates because it's you know, they have an agenda and it's almost like they're strategizing it. Um, and it's interesting because we also have the letter here. So the letter is also about communication. Um, and it could be that this person may be sending an email out or, um, you know, on social media, they're, um, you know, they're posting about it or writing something where they're, it could be even a blog or something somewhere where they're kind of putting it out there and trying to communicate something, but in a negative way, because I do feel like she has like, almost like she will twist things around to make herself look like the victim, um, where in reality, um, and especially as you know this person, you know that they're, you know, they're doing it in a way that's manipulative and it's nasty and it's mean spirited. Um, and of course you don't want to engage in that. And I do, I do feel like this, this may even be this like snake energy, um, that is trying to, you know, suck you in and trying to get you connected. And, and it's interesting because, you know, you do stand your ground, you do stand your ground and you're like, no, I'm going to be going my way. I'm not going to allow you to suck me into this nonsense because this is not me and it's not who I am. Um, and it's really, this is your attitude. This is the rune that's like kind of like your attitude towards others and how you are. Um, and also maybe even just the attitude that this person is putting out towards you as well. Um, but it's interesting because you're um, willing to show, like stand up to this. And I, and I do feel like you, you're changing your attitude and changing your ways of seeing this person and the way that they're connecting and interacting with others. And I feel like you're saying enough's enough. I'm not even going to engage in this nonsense. Um, she may be trying to like prove her point, tell her story. Um, but I, I do feel like, um, like you almost like see through it. I feel like you're negating everything that's going on over here. Um, and you're saying, yeah, that's, I don't believe in any of this nonsense. So, uh, you know, I do feel like that is also very important. Um, it's interesting. I, I do feel like this month you guys are, um, it's funny cause you're like, you're walking away from it and you're not allowing it to suck you in. So I feel like you're, and especially with the two of swords here, this is allowing you to, um, come to a decision, but it's like, you're going to have to like really trust your, your, um, your better judgment and like, you know, think, think about it before you act on it. But I do feel like your intuition is going to help guide you towards making the right choices. Um, especially since, you know, with the two of swords, this is all about having kind of like that crossroad where you have to make a decision, but, um, you're knowing that, 
the right choice is the one that you need to make. And it's not the, you know, the choice that not everybody will be happy with, but this is a choice that um, matters to you. And I do feel like it's, it's going to be the right choice and you know, it's the right choice because deep down you feel it. Um, and you also have the cross here. So this is also having faith that, you know, the choices that you make, they're going to be the right ones. Um, and especially, you know, doing things th that you know are going to be, uh, it's not that it's going to be better served for you, but it's going to be going against what other people, you know, want. It's almost like they are not wanting you to make that choice. Um, but you're knowing this is the right choice that you need to make and that you need to go that direction. Even if other people don't see it that way, um, of course, they're going to have to come to a place of understanding um, where this is what this is the path that's right for you and they have to honor that. So we also have, this is the awakening or the breakthrough rune. This is all about, um, you know, making the changes that you need to make. Um, and especially since it landed on top of this two of swords, it's like, it's like, this is your time to make the choices and the changes that you need to make right now. Um, it's almost like you're, you're taking the power like to, to make these changes for yourself in your life and you're doing them at your own will. You're not allowing somebody else to kind of take the reins for you anymore. And, and I do feel like, especially with this card for this month, um, it's like you're standing your ground. You're not allowing others to um, sway you in any which direction. And of course, you're not having it with anybody um this month it's kind of like you're putting all the naysayers to rest and you're saying you know what i'm doing what's right for me and i don't need to listen to you and i don't need to be sucked into your drama into your lies into your manipulations and i'm going after what i need to go after for me so i feel like that is going to be um it's going to be a really good thing for you, Taurus, especially as you're sensing into like what you feel is right for you, um, you know, and also not having not giving into the fears and anxieties that are um, being created by people that don't deserve that energy from you. All right. So, Taurus, let me also pull another card for clarification. This is from the um, <laughs> wisdom of the oracle um deck i just drew a blank there for a second but let's just see what card we have for taurus for the month of january and we have time for a nap but it's reversed so i do feel like it's kind of like you're waking up from this nap um you're waking up it's almost like this awakening it's like you're not allowing yourself to sleep through this anymore you're waking yourself up and you're saying enough's enough it's time to make a change um, and I do feel like that is a very strong indicator of what's going on this month. It's like you're kind of waking yourself up from this slumber that you've been on and like saying, you know what, I'm, I'm not going to go through this like half asleep anymore. I'm going to be awake. I'm going to I'm going to do things and go after the things that I know are meant for me and they're going to serve me in the right way. Taurus is not allowing others to make the choices for them. And that's for sure. And I feel like not just this month, but for the whole year. Um, and maybe even just like this is going to be your new found um, way of showing who you are. Okay, I'm also pulling another card from... Okay, so this is... Um, we have the Alchemist. And the Alchemist card is, you know, also about transformation. But it's interesting because the Alchemist is almost like the Magician card. It's like where you're able to turn anything into gold. Or, you know, you're looking to... Um, you know, make positive changes in your life. And, but changes that are going to, um, they're coming from like, you know, at, cause the alchemist will turn, you know, coal into gold or turn, you know, certain, um, other elements into something else, like something that is completely different. And I feel like it's almost like you're t doing that. It's like, you're taking a situation and you're changing it into something positive. So I feel like that is, um, Yes, because you know you're taking this negative energy and you're turning it into something positive and something beautiful for you. Um, and it's also about transformation. It's also about you know seeing things and doing things in a different way, different from the way that you've normally been doing them. So I do feel like that is going to be um, very positive movement for you guys for this month. Um, you know, especially as you're looking to um, you know wake up from this like dream that you've been in and like maybe it was in a nightmare it's like you're like no more I'm gonna be up I'm gonna be awake for this all I'm gonna make 
conscious choices that are good for me. And I feel like that is important for you guys for this month of January. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Um, definitely like and also share my videos with those that you know would benefit from them. Um, and don't forget to subscribe. All right. Well, Taurus, have a wonderful month and I will see you again in February. Take care. Bye.